Welcome, I've just been looking through some of our sends for this show, the sends of the month. It's all the stuff you've been sending in to the GMBN uploader. We've got some great clips and I'm starting with a category um, in this show called Kids Today. We get some incredible clips from some of the younger riders out there. Uh, and sometimes I, I'm just blown away. And I'm gonna start this week with a clip from Dougal who says, that he's seen this road gap uh, a few times and he, he thought at the start of lockdown, which in the UK started in about uh, March, that he, he thought he could take it on, but he, he was a bit scared. But you know what, as time went by, he decided to take it on. Now check this out and hear the stoke from probably his dad who's filming. Uh, it's really great. Look at this, look at this bit of riding. Rah! Another angle. Wow! You know what's incredible about that gap is it is high speed, high consequence, but Dougal's made it look very, very easy. Uh, and that's one of the things with the younger riders, they make it look so easy because they're carefree. They just go for it and that's what you need to be when you're gonna send it. You gotta be relaxed, but you gotta be confident. Exactly what the youth of today are. So let's take a look at Dougal's competitor in this category. Um, this is Tristan. Uh, he's riding an intense carbine uh, and it's a big drop into then a nice table. He, I'm not sure of his age but he looks small. He looks small. He's either young or small. And look at this drop. I mean this is an intimidating drop and boom! Throws it. Bit of style in there. Then onto that table. Beginnings of a whip. Let's watch that one more time. Like how he comes into that drop, he says there was a bit of a jam going on on the feature that day, so he thought he'd join in. Love that second table. Look, so cool. Ah, oh, tell you what, I'm gonna give it to Dougal because it's high speed, but Tristan, ugh, you know, you're level pegging, but you know, someone's gotta win that one. Uh, really loved it, really great riding. Love seeing the riding of the youth for today, so keep them coming in, that's for sure. <laughs> now for something special. Check this out from Harry. Rolling in, nice pace, then lands, stoppy. Oh my God, that's so good. He said he's been dreaming about doing this for ages. But as you watch him do it, like think how he's bucking his weight forward and committing onto that front brake. It's really scary. It's a Bernard Kerr move, but Harry, you have absolutely nailed it, and it is this month's special move. Ready for some gaps, some serious gappage? Um, we have got some great ones. We're starting with Miguel. Now, check this out. We've got a great scene as it starts, but you've got to hold tight because he just comes from nowhere. Boom! <laughs> just bursts onto the scene. Uh, it happens so fast. Let's watch it one more time because he actually comes between the tree and the camera, and the tree looks very close, but there he is, he appears out of nowhere, and boom, straight over that road gap. Nice, I like that, Miguel. He's riding a Mondraker Summum, and he is in Switzerland. Um, it's a really great clip. I'm gonna watch it one more time, because I love the speed of it. In he comes. <sighs> nice. Road gaps are really intimidating things to do. Um, I always used to find them really terrifying. I don't jump many in my wheelchair these days, but I did a couple in my, uh, in my past riding career and I always found them a little bit scary. Let's look at this next one from Gavin. You can see him coming in at a nice pace. We've got a good bit of action as he comes in around that first berm. Little roller, boom, nice. It's a bit of a gap actually, and then whack! Woohoo! <laughs> Watch that again! Watch that again! Look at him coming in there. Yeah, it's a little gap out of that berm. And then he really gets kicked. Whoa. Boom! He has a bit of a dead sailor moment. Now, a dead sailor moment is where your body's going one way and the bike feels like it's starting to get away from you, but he holds on to it. Gavin, love it. 2018 specialised enduro comp. I'm going to give serious gappage this month to. And I go with Gavin, because I really love that, uh, that pop he's got in his gap. Uh, and he, he's, it, it looks like he's really had to control it in the air. This category is all about not being intimidated. Now, if you've ever been out on the trail and you've seen an obstacle that others are hitting and you think, man, that looks 
sketchy. It might be that it's got a really gnarly takeoff or there's lots of rocks or it's a gap with roots underneath. Something that just nerves you. In our not intimidated section this month, we've got a couple of really great clips. So first one's from Josh. Here he comes. Whoa. That is a scary looking obstacle actually. And the next one we've got here is from Francisco. Look at this one. Nice big step down. Here he comes. What? I like that. You know what? I mean, those obstacles are very different. One's a very kicky, rocky jump. Um, then Francisco's is a nice drop. But I think Josh on the rock gap, he does well because it really does kick his back end as he goes over. So uh, I think he's done a good job there. Uh, but I don't like the look of it. You know, I mean, it just like them two rocky outcrops. Scary looking. And I think Francisco's drop you know the drops they're things you can take on on the trail they can be really big but as long as it's got a nice down slope which this one's got then you should be pretty safe you've just got to keep it pretty level in the air let it roll off and not try and dive the front end too much or stay too far back so you get a high front end just got to roll it in there level pedals keep the speed right and then you should just drop down into it which francisco's done but i've got to pick a best not intimidated moment. Neither of those guys were intimidated. They both sent it really well. Go with Josh. Josh, the rock, the rock gap. Finishing up this month with the Leap of Faith Award and we're starting with Lucy's nemesis. She's been looking at this jump for a while. Uh, she's been scared of it. And her dad, Scott, says that at just 12 years old, she'd been pretty scared of it all summer, but in the end, she just had to have a go and send it. And she has. Here she comes. Rup. Nice. They scare me, the little ones, because it feels like, you know, someone hasn't worked on them that knows what they're doing. Um, and I don't know who's built that jump, or if it was Lucy herself, or it was just a, a jump that's in the trails, but usually when it's a small mound like that, it can be a little bit uh, kicky, which can be sketchy, especially if it's going into sort of like a, a quite as sharp landing that's not too far away. Oh, nice. Just tell you what, some good control in the air there, actually, Lucy. I like that. That's very good. Next up, we have got a really great looking, got a couple of little angles on this one as well. This one is from Mortise, uh, and look at that style. Oh, I like. You know what I like about this one, right? Is he as he jumps it, and he's only uh, he's only hit this jump a few times, but he said he's got a bit of a tailwind, so he thought he'd give it a go. I like that thinking. That's really clever. But I love how he hits it. It's got that style. You can really see how he's just kind of whipped it out. It hangs in the air, but then once he's landing it, look at that bouncing of the suspension once he's done it. <laughs> That's so cool to see, that enjoyment coming out in the riding, like, yeah, I nailed it. So good. That's what Ascend's all about. So another great leap of faith, and I love that you use the tailwind, Maltese, to get it done. Uh, so you've done a really good job there. And then next up, we've got this one from Gary. Now, this one's crazy because I've never seen... I've, I wouldn't do this. This is Gary on his YT Capra in Hampshire, out with his friends and my daughter, uh, and decided to jump my daughter in the middle of the trail. So that's his daughter. Look, but listen, in its entirety, he comes down through the trail, Rup, his daughter's sat there. Well, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'd be the perfect obstacle to park in between the jump, wouldn't I? In my little wheelchair, just park up and you could jump over me. But I'm sorry, Gary, that's not for me. That's nuts. But it's cool that you can do it and you definitely sent it. But I don't know who's getting the award if you win it. Is it you or is it your daughter for being brave enough to park in the middle? Maybe it's a double award, I don't know. I think I I'm giving it to Lucy because I, I like that. The jump reminded me of when I was young uh, and I was out in the woods just building little jumps, but I remember how sketchy they were and uh, Lucy's nailed that one and I bet it was a scary moment, but she definitely controlled it in the air. So Lucy, you have got this month's Leap of Faith. Nice one. Expect to see that somewhere on our social media, I would have thought on Instagram perhaps. Very well done. Thank you to all of you guys who have sent in videos this month to the GMBN uploader, to Sends of the Month, for all the other boxes you can put things in there that work for the Dirt Shed Show and videos like this. Um, whether it be a crash or a send or a hacker or a bodge, 
Uh, is there's so many things that we want to see from you guys, including your bikes themselves for the bike vault, of course. So keep sending the stuff into the GMB and uploader. You could be finding yourself in one of our videos, uh, either on sends or fails, or you might be in the Dirt Shed Show. Good luck to you. Make sure you love, like, and share on social media platforms so we get all of the people we can interested in mountain biking. Um, and until next time, I will have to say goodbye. I've got some more sends to watch. See you next time.